Hey guys, welcome to Tea Time True Crime with Katie. And tonight I'm at again with another story. And it is a very, very sad one. It is extremely disturbing. And I'm telling you, just from a woman's point of view or just anyone who has feelings and cannot hear about sexual assault, please skip this video, okay? Please. Sadly, again guys, it's brutal. Tonight we're going to talk about Anita Kobe. It's a famous Australian true crime case. Anita Kobe was born November 2nd, 1959, and tragically taken away February 2nd, 1986. Her crime that was absolutely done to her shocked a whole entire nation. Like it was so brutal. At 26 years old, she was a wonderful nurse and she was married to John Kobe. And they really loved each other. I mean, look how adorable they are. And you know, they absolutely just radiated with each other. Like families, friends, just thought they'd be together forever. One horrible faithful night, Anita mm, met with these five horrible humans. I'll list their names up here, but I will not say them because they don't even have deserve to have their names even like spoken. I just try not to get so upset, you guys, but I am so angry. These five guys decide to kidnap Anita after she could not find a working payphone. Remember, this is the 1980s, okay? So they kidnap her and they just vi violently assault her in the vehicle and she's begging for her life. She's saying, please don't do this. I'm on my period, you know? And they just don't care. And they just, one by one, just take turns getting pleasure from her. Oh. Time goes by, they lose gas, and they take her money to get more gas. And then the marks on her body that we found out, the little lacerations across her body, are when her naked body, because they took all her clothes off, was dragged through barbed wire. And they, again, assaulted her for hours and hours. I just, I just don't understand, like, what? You can look up the detail, you guys, but I don't recommend it. That's just a little bit of what I said. They were all caught, and guess what? The inmates 